there's so many players that complete the Death to Dorgish Khan quest, but don't fully explore the city of Dorgish Khan. There's a lot of really interesting methods to be found throughout the city. Making cave goblin wires for crafting XP and great money per hour, pick locking rich chests for amazing thieving XP, or beating obstacles in the Dorgish Khan's own agility course, which is what we're going to be looking at today. Requiring level 70 agility to partake in, the Dorgish Khan's agility course is one of the few examples of a course being competitive with rooftops in terms of XP and being unique to other courses in that you're helping a goblin fix his laboratory by going to the end of the course, picking a part that he needs and bringing him that part to which he will reward you with a chunk of agility experience. My agility level is 89 and today I'm going to do 10 hours of Dorgish Khan agility course. At the end, we're going to take a look at the XP rates, how many stamina potions I'm going to go through because you do need to sip staminas. Unlike most courses, you actually lose energy while doing it. And I'm going to tell you some interesting facts and how to do the course efficiently. Let's start out with the requirements. So to access the city of Dorgish Khan, you're going to need to complete the aforementioned Death to Dorgish Khan quest. You're also going to need to have a light source. This can be anything from a candle to a fire making cape. I will leave a link to all the light source items in the description, so check that out if you're interested. Like I said earlier, you're also going to need an agility level of at least 70. The higher the better because you can fill the course even at level 99. Since you're level 70 agility, you probably have the full graceful set, which is going to be useful since you're going to do a lot of running. With the release of Darkmire came a new item called the Ring of Endurance, which can be charged with stamina potions, and if a player sips a potion with a charged Ring of Endurance, the stamina potion will give you 40% run energy to the previous 20 and will double the time that the stamina potion is active, meaning that a stamina dose will last 4 minutes. Now this all sounds amazing, but it's priced at a steep 63 million GP at the moment. In any case, bring a ton of stamina potions. Now let's talk about how to get to the course. Fairy ring code AJQ will bring you right beneath the course, so just run north and up the ladder to get to the start of the course. The other method is going to the Lumberage Cellar and making your way through the mines where you will turn south and with a bit of running, you're going to get to the city of Dorgishkan. The course is found on the second floor of the city at the very south. Upon arriving to the course, head east to the goblin's shack, talk to him and get a spanner, which you're going to need to get the parts required to do this course. After you get the spanner, you don't really have to pay attention to the dialogue, but the goblin will tell you which part he currently needs to fix his lab. He can give you one out of three options, the power box, the spanner or the cog. You don't have to memorize these since you will get a message in your chat box telling you exactly what item you're going to need to get. He will also tell you to get some other items, but those are used for a very crappy range training method which is not worth doing whatsoever. You should only focus on the power box, the meter, and the cog. After he tells you what item you need, you have to make it to the end of the course. Runelight's agility plugin makes this a piece of cake since it tells you the click boxes of the obstacles by putting big green squares on top of them. If you fill the course, just head north to the ladder and repeat the process. After you come to the end of the course, use your spanner on the boiler located at the south of the room. A menu will appear asking you which part you're going to take. Take the according part and bring it back to the goblin for a sweet agility experience. If you fill the course with the repair part in your inventory, it's going to break. In that case, you'll unfortunately have to go back to the end of the course and get a new part since the goblin won't give you any experience for bringing him a broken part. Each lap grants you 2750 agility experience, meaning a decent hour with a high agility level can net you up to 68k agility XP. Like most courses, you can easily get some zero time magic or fletching XP by fletching darts or alking and casting magic in view. 
For the sake of this video, I decided to only focus on the Agility XP, so I didn't do anything else besides doing the course. It's also worth pointing out that the Povenich course, which also requires level 70 agility, has an average XP rate of about 53k XP per hour, according to the old school wiki. The main difference between the courses, however, is that the Povenich course is a rooftop course, so it drops marks of grace, which can be traded in for Numolite and sold on the GE. Although personally, I don't think agility is the way to make money in old school, so I would always pick the Dorgish Khan course over the Povenich one. It's also worth noting that at 75 agility, you unlock the Priftinus course. That also requires the completion of the Song of the Elves quest, but the course gives roughly around 62k XP per hour, with the addition of about 12 crystal shards per hour. So if you have Priftinus unlocked, it's definitely better to go there at 75. Although these XP rates were done at around 85 agility. So at 75, they would be around 55k per hour. I also made a 10 hour video for that course upon release of Priftinus, so check the description if you're interested. In short, the Dorgish Khan agility course is only viable for 5 levels. That's probably the reason why it's so unpopular. In the 10 hours that I did this course, I only saw one person. And even that was for a minute before he disappeared. So in the 10 hours, I managed to get just about 610k XP, meaning that the average XP rate at 89 agility is about 61k XP per hour. It's worth noting that I did fill the course quite a bit, and with a broken part in your inventory, that's a big time waste for your XP per hour. I also used 25 stamina potions in total, with each stamina costing about 5.5k that comes out to a total of 137.5k GP. Obviously not the best, especially for my agility level, but there's just something about this course. The whole idea of you helping the goblin, the environment, and the isolation makes this course a gem for any dead content lover such as myself. It's only efficient from 70 to 75 agility, but I can see why people don't come here ever in their runescape career. The location is, as said earlier, isolated. The cost of stamina potions and the loss of marks of grace makes this course unappealing to most players. I still find it enjoyable and I hope you guys found the video interesting. With that being said, I hope you have a great day and I will see you all later.